الحمد لله رب العالمين ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم ثم أما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants help and victory to the followers of his true religion. Many people might think the followers of this religion, the religion of Islam, are humiliated, subdued and always defeated. Unlike those who follow other paths. So they do not have a certainty in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's promise of his victory for his religion and his servants. Rather, even they don't say it, they think it, that the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is either particular to a specific group, to a specific time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has confirmed this victory for his religion and for the followers of this religion. In his kitab, al Quran, and through Sunan al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this attitude that some of these people might carry is only due to the weakness in their certainty the weakness of Iman the weakness in their faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a very poor understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's books Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained in his book that he is the helper of all the believers in this dunya and in the akhirah, in this world and in the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna lanunsuru rusuluna waladheena amanu fi alhaat al-dunya wa yawm yakoomu al-ashhad Indeed, we will support our messengers and those who believe during the life of this world and on the day when the witnesses will stand. Surah Ghafir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَإِنَّا حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْغَالِبُونَ and whoever is an ally of Allah and His Messenger and those who have indeed believed the party of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be the dominant. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says Jalla Jalalu كتب الله لا أغلب أن أنا ورسولي إن الله قوي عزيز. سبحان الله. There are many verses in the Quran indicating this. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has also explained in Quran that what befalls a servant from calamity or defeat or other than that is because of one's sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained both of these principles in his book. So when you join them, the reality of the matter will become clear to you. Problems will completely disappear and you will be in no need of unnecessary burdening explanations of far-fetched interpretations. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained the first principle in different ways including what has preceded and the ayat that were just recited O oh, you who have believed do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies they are in fact allies of one another and whoever is an ally to them among you indeed he is the one he is one of them indeed Allah guides not the wrong people so you see those in whose hearts is the disease, the hypocrisy. Associating with people that go against the teachings of Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Going against the book that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed. How can you say you believe but your actions and your sayings say otherwise. So you see those in whose hearts is a disease. 
they might say this using an excuse we are afraid a misfortune might strike upon us if we don't walk this path Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will most definitely bring a conquest or a decision from him subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will become over what they have been concealing within themselves very regretful and those who believe will say about the hypocrites and their exposure are these the ones who swore by Allah their strongest oaths that indeed they were with you their deeds have become worthless and they have become losers O oh, you who have believed whoever of you should revert from his religion Allah will bring forth in the place of them a people he subhanahu wa ta'ala will love and who they will love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala back who are humble towards the believers powerful against the disbelievers they strive in the cause of Allah and do not fear the blame of a critic. That is the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He bestows it upon whom He wills. And Allah is all encompassing and knowing. Wallahu al muhitul alim. Your ally is none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger and those who have believed. Those who establish the prayer and give zakah and they bow down only in worship truly and sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one but Him, Allah. And whoever is an ally of Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and those who believe indeed the party of Allah will be the dominant ones. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rebuke those who seek help other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his party and informed that his party they will be the dominant ones in this regards he says subhanahu wa ta'ala give tidings to the hypocrites that there is for them a painful punishment those who take the disbelievers as allies instead of the believers do they seek with them honor through power but indeed honor belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala entirely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they say if we return to Medina and more honored of power will surely expel those from the humble and to Allah belongs all honor and to his messenger and to the believers but the hypocrites do not know Surah Al-Munafiqoon Whoever desires honor through power then to Allah belongs all the honor To him ascends such speech and righteous work raises it That is whoever seeks honor let them seek it by obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone through good speech and righteous work Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says huwa alladhi arsala rasuluhu bil huda wa ddin al haqq li yuzharuhu ala ddin kullihi wa law kariha al mushrikun it is he who has sent his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the guidance and the religion of truth to manifest it over all religions although they who associate others with Allah dislike it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Jalla Jalal Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu Hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunajjikum min adhabin alim تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلك خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون 
يغفر لكم ذنوبكم يغفر لكم ذنوبكم ويدخلكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ومساكن طيبة في جنات عدن ذلك الفوز العظيم وأخرى تحبونها نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر المؤمنين الله سبحانه وتعالى this victory this uplifting for dunya and akhirah is for us for all aspects of life subhanahu wa ta'ala just to go over what we said in the recitation oh ye who have believed shall i guide you to a transaction that will save you from a painful punishment you believe in allah and his messenger and strive in his cause through your wealth and health and lives that is best for you but if you only knew he will forgive you all of your sins and admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow and pleasant dwellings in gardens of perpetual residence that is the great attainment and you will obtain another favor that you love victory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and an imminent conquest and give good tidings to the believers Surah al -Sab. again this uplifting this victory this ease you will see it in all aspects of your life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says وَأُخْرَى تُحِبُّونَهَا وَأُخْرَى تُحِبُّونَهَا نَصْرٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَتْحٌ قَرِيبٌ وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُونُوا أَنصَارُ اللَّهِ كما قال عيسى ابن مريم للحواريين من أنصاري إلى الله قال الحواريون نحن أنصار الله فآمن الطائفة بني إسرائيل وكفر الطائفة فأيدنا الذين آمنوا فأيدنا الذين آمنوا على عدوهم فاصبحوا ظاهرين O oh, you who have believed be supporters to Allah as when Jesus عليه الصلاة والسلام the son of Maryam عليه الصلاة والسلام said to the disciples who are my supporters for Allah the disciples said, we are the supporters of Allah. And a faction of the children of Bani Israel believed. And the other faction disbelieved. So we supported those who believed against their enemy. And they became the dominant. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to say, Indeed, I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieved and make those who follow you in submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. This is addressed to the believers who fulfilled both outward and inward realities of faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Indeed, the best of outcome is for the righteous for the believers the intended here is the outcome in this world before the next because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this after the story of Nuh for example and his victory over his people and the patience with them so he said this is from the news of the unseen which we revealed to you O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you knew it not, neither you nor your people before this. 
So be patient. Indeed, the best outcome is for the righteous. That is the outcome of help for you and those with you, as it was for Nuh alayhi salatu was salam and those who believed in him. Likewise, is saying, and enjoy prayer upon your family and the people, and be steadfast. Therein we ask you not for provision. We provide for you the best outcome is for those of the righteous. If good touches you, it distresses them. But if harm strikes you, they rejoice at it. And if you are patient and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their plot will not harm you at all. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is encompassing of what they do. Yes, if we remain patient and conscious of Allah and the enemy come upon you, your Lord will subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Rabbul Alameen will reinforce you in the way he sees fit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's support is always there. Relating the words of Yusuf alayhi salam that he was helped due to his taqwa, his fearfulness and consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his patience. I am Yusuf and this is my brother Allah. Allah has certainly favored us. Indeed, he who fears Allah and is patient, then indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not allow to be lost in reward of those who do good. O oh, yea, who believe, if you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will grant you a criterion and will remove from you your misdeeds and forgive you. And Allah is the possessor of great bounty. If the believers acted in accordance with these ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would suffice them. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the believers to follow what was sent to them to be obedient to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the first principle. He subhanahu wa ta'ala also ordered them to wait for his promise. And this is the second principle. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered them to seek forgiveness and practice patience because the servant will certainly have shortcomings and seeking forgiveness will clear those shortcomings. Likewise, patience is required while waiting for the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obedience is perfected and completed with seeking forgiveness and certainty in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfected and completed with patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has joined the two in his saying subhanahu wa ta'ala Wasbir, Fasbir, Inna wa'da Allahi haqqu Wastaghfir li dhambika Wasabbih bihamdi rabbika Bil'ashi wal-ibqar So be patient Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Indeed the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is truth and ask forgiveness for your sin and exalt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with praise of your Lord in the evening and the morning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.